using a purse. This is what it looks like before I waxed it. And this is what it looks like after. <clears throat> so I started with taking the straps off. So I have the least amount of stuff in the way as possible. I waxed this side and then I let it sit for a little bit. <clears throat> Just I went and had lunch and came back. Um, when the wax is freshly applied, like super freshly applied, it um, it creases a lot easier and then I just have to keep fixing it. So I waited just a minute and then I figured I would make a video for this side. And just give a couple of pointers. So the first thing that you want to do is clean off the bag. Because you don't want to get any debris stuck in there. And then this is my Otter Wax. This was a large size bar. I could have done a regular size bar, but this was what I had. And then just pick a spot and start waxing. So what I started with this time is just this outside seam. to get the small areas and then the next step is to just work it in with your fingers so you can kind of move the big chunks around and set it all in I love the Horse hair cleaning brush. For stuff like this, there's accumulated wax right there. And another's not. Super easy. Um, so, things that you will run into are like working around these areas. Also, um, when you have something underneath, it can show lines like this and not be completely even so it's darker here and lighter here because there's something underneath making that. So um, what I was thinking would work really good is to have like a full size um, ironing board. This one's not the best because it's super small, but if you had one that you could completely like put inside the bag, then you wouldn't have to worry about this side at all, and it would be a lot faster. So, I'm just going to take this area flat on the table, take my bar, and then you see how it's not getting right around this. What I like to do is load my horsehair brush up and then you can actually apply wax this way. It's not the best to do the whole bag, but um, <clears throat> when there's lots of seams, like on shoes, I've done it on shoes and it just works a lot easier. So the wax is applied, but it's kind of, it's kind of spotty. Like there's white pieces. And all you gotta do is work it in. And now it looks perfect. Um, there's really not much to it. 
other than that is just pick small areas. It's best if you have nothing underneath. Apply it until it's dark and then set it in by rubbing your finger on it. You can spread it out and then move on to your next small area. So that um, brush technique worked really well in these folds because there was no way I was going to get the whole bar in there. So I would get it on as much as I could and then I would use the brush to get on the inside. And then you don't want to let the accumulated wax sit on and harden because um, then it's harder to get rid of. So. You can just, any place where there's excess wax, you can use this, or the smoothing tool would actually work better. I don't have mine out right now. But I could use that if I wanted to. But afterwards, it's going to look amazing. I'm super excited for it. I'm going to use it as like a swimming bag. I'm going to put all my swimming stuff in it. <clears throat> so that's why I wanted it waterproof. So that when I take it to the pool, um, when it gets wet, it's okay. Okay, so when I'm done, my hands are completely covered in wax. Um, what I like to do is work it into my hands, and then I just use a cloth to get the excess off. Because if you try to wash your hands with soap and water, it doesn't come off very easy because it's a natural water repellent. I honestly don't think there's much more to go over than that. Oh, there's something in here that would be helpful to take that out. It's probably running into that on the other side. And then that's how I came up with the <laughs> ironing board idea. not going to get this zipper area. I'm going to stop here on the canvas and not get the, um, the zipper at all. There's a whole bunch of wax accumulated on there, and that's okay, because I'll just use my brush. And then at the end, I'll wipe these um, areas down with something really good, too. Maybe a lint free cloth. We'll do the trick. Oh, I got some on this side. So sometimes you can kind of see like the stroke marks, and sometimes there's like darker areas and lighter areas, and when you're applying the wax, it seems like a big deal, but when it's further away from you, it looks pretty good. So, <clears throat> you can try to get it perfect if you want. So 
So this won't be waterproof for 24 hours. I tested it right after one time I made, um, I waxed the hat and then right away I dumped a whole bunch of water on it even though it says to wait um, 24 hours and I was really upset because it did not like repel the water. I could tell that it kind of got wet um, and then I made myself wait. Here's the fuzz. And I'm all sticky, so it's hard to get rid of. But then I made myself wait the full time and it set. And it worked. So it does take a while, and it takes some arm power. I feel like my arms should maybe look better, more muscly than they do by this point. After all this waxing, all these waxing projects. thinking that I'll run into more to say, but honestly, this is it. You know, when, when you run into problems, you just gotta problem solve through it. And think about the areas that you want to wax and don't want to wax. Um, hit the areas that are gonna get the wettest the most so maybe I'll do the bottom again get a really nice thick layer on the bottom so there's a couple different ways to um, to go after you have applied the wax you can uh, use a heat gun on it but I don't um, for me, I tend to either just rub it in with my hands, like I'm going to do for this, or I iron it in using no steam. And if you want, you can put parchment paper down and then iron, and then it won't get your iron waxy. See, I don't know if you can tell, but the side that is waxed is sticking to the table and now it doesn't look perfect anymore and now I've got gunk on it. So that's why I was thinking that a um, an ironing board was going to be amazing for this project. I just haven't gone out and got one. Didn't feel like going to the store. Um, you can just get this stuff off and rub the wax back in when you're completely done. Ugh. And then if there's creases that you can't just rub out, if you just apply some more wax and then rub it out, it's easier. And in time, this will be less and less tacky. So the thing about 
putting this on here I found is that there's like holes in it for the steam to pass through. So then you can see those holes. Now it would be easier to get rid of this crease because there's a piece of fabric on the inside and so there's a line right here and then since this isn't a flat surface it's helping get rid of some of those marks and like on the other side it would have been helpful to eliminate all of this area here from the zipper because when I was going over it um, it was leaving marks. So I think that if you're going to be doing a lot of waxed jackets and purses, hats, hats would probably be really good. If you're going to wax a lot of stuff, getting an ironing board is probably a good way to go. And then you could, I was going to say put cardboard underneath, but then you would see the lines from the cardboard. You could probably figure out how to make that smooth, but also you just kind of have to go over the area twice if you can see those holes. So like you're waxing and then you see the holes in the board and then you just move it and then you re-wax it and then the holes will disappear. Those are the holes that I'm talking about. So you just have to like move it a little bit and if you had just a freestanding large board, ironing board, it would be really easy to just move it, wax it, move it, wax it. It'd be super simple. And then it wouldn't mess up this side. It would be really nice. So then after I'm done with this, I'll let it sit for a couple days and then I'll put my straps back on and I'll test it to see if it's waterproof. But that's about all I can think of for waxing canvas. It's pretty easy. All right.